Hey, everyone. Um, it is awesome to be here. I'm Dan Flores. Actually, let me share my screen. Well, let's get started. All right. Always on engagement. I'm Dan Flores from Satisfy Labs. I'm the head of tourism. I, I actually come from an entirely tourism background. I've been in the industry for 20 plus years, mostly on the supplier side. So I think I like to come at the technology side from a really practical uh, point of view. I'm going to talk a little bit today about the company, what we do, a little bit about our uh, platform. But first, I want to get a little bit of background. There's a lot of noise. I mean, obviously, there's amazing companies coming on every day. But we've been doing this for nine plus years. We have over 800 clients. Um, we've deployed over 2,500 chatbots, assistants, and now getting into actual agents that perform tasks and have workflows to them. We are backed by some of the really biggest brands, uh, not only just in tourism, but also in technology and uh, experiences. Most of the clients that have backed us uh, in that, that box over there that you see, they trusted us with their brand voice to answer their questions and then decided to invest in the company. Now, we primarily stay in the sports, entertainment, and uh, tourism side of things. For tourism, we do destinations, attractions, tour operators, anyone that has questions or customers that want to have their questions answered 24-7, we step in and do that for you. It's more about, not just about having conversations, but more about the business outcomes that you want. Do you want to increase your sales? Do you want to increase your conversion rate online? Do you want to enhance the guest experience so that your customers feel more engaged? Do you want to scale your actual live support? Uh, I don't know who has 24 hour call centers anymore. They're ex really expensive, but how do you meet clients where they are when they want 24 hours a day seven days a week and then more importantly and we'll get into a little bit of the data stuff on at towards the end but how do you learn the more conversations with you have that you have with your visitors with your customers the more you're going to learn from that the more efficient your business gets and the more that you can learn from them now what does our platform do this is actually our new agentic platform uh, back end. There's agent orchestras that actually decide which agents are going to be deployed based on what the functions of the customers want. AI tools such as if a particular type of question triggers an SMS or an email that needs to be sent. How do we connect all that with your data systems? How do we continue to uh, enhance the security and the moderation, the privacy and the trust. All of this is handled on top of the data and analytics inside of the Satisfy Labs platform. Now, I, I don't want to get too far into the weeds, but I know there are some tech people uh, that are watching this. All of our agents uh, and all of the data that we have is all connected. Now, you look at like omni-channel, whether that's web chat in an app, SMS, WhatsApp, Facebook, however you're communicating with your customers, we can be the first line of defense from an AI side. If there's on the Agentic side, if you're sending out agents, there's A to A technology so that those agents know that they can speak to each other in the same language. MCP servers, uh, services, as well as you know, repositories for all the content, all of this exists in one place. Now, a lot of this might just look like boxes, uh, but I promise from uh, an Agentic side, this is where we're moving into the future to make sure that Agentic commerce uh, workflows all work together with the data systems that you have. Now, our original mission statement as Satisfy Labs was to make AI hireable. Now, what would you do when you hire an employee? Let's just go from a customer service standpoint. You train that agent, you give them all the tools that they need, and then you actually put some framework around success. We use the OKR system as a framework to 
gauge the success of all the ages that we have. I'll show you a little bit what that looks like and how we do this from a segmentation. But that's how we look at this. You're hiring this AI agent to perform tasks and have a job description. Now, we specialize in building these special agents, you know, for the industries that we're having. I, I put, we've got, I don't know, I think the profiles right now are up to 10, 10, 11, 12 different ones, but I'm going to focus on just some tourism ones specifically. Your guest experience agent, its job is to engage with the guest, answer any of those questions, support general inquiries, food and beverage agent, which is to exactly that, which in our stadiums, our venues, our theme parks, um, even some of our observation towers that have a uh, restaurant or food and beverage quality to it. This can actually do quite a few things. If you have online ordering, really get specific about all of the food and beverage information that's there. Ticket sales is just to do that, like a ticket sales agent. How would you train that person? What's its job description? And getting into some of the stuff that we do with our destinations, the meetings and convention agent will lead qualify for you. Um, help increase the amount of online RFP submissions all within a conversational chat interface. Now, we'll show a couple of you know, guest experience agent, and you'll see it actually has a profile with specific objections or objectives for the business. And then what are those key results? It is very smart. It can answer combination questions, help, uh, you know, newsletter submissions, anything that the business actually says, this is important to us. This is what we want our outcomes to be. Now the ticket sales agent that I'm going to show here, this one's actually one of our, our newest integrations with a, a ticketing company. Some of the things that are unique to this is that it actually uses the large language model. It uses the conversation to make the API call. So you can, it takes a lot of the friction out of the process of buying. Now, if you look at how we purchase things online, there's a lot of filling out forms. There's a lot of steps to it. If you notice in retail now, what they're doing with like saved information is cutting out the friction in the buying process. So if I engage the ticket agent and say something like uh, my daughter, myself, uh, and my wife want to come on a, on a tour, it knows that I just asked for a children's ticket, two adult tickets. It'll say, how old are those children? How old is your child? So that it can actually check the rule set to make sure that it applies. And I can go all the way through to purchase which in chat, making that a conversational experience converts at a much higher rate than a website does. That's what we're trying to do here. It's, it's specifically trying to push you to buy certain types of tickets. Now those objectives, we can set specific campaigns, might be around shoulder times, might be around seasonality, time of day. You can really set them and we can, like you would a person and say, hey, today, let's try to sell these types of tours really cool functionality. Um, in this process, we can cut the friction down almost by 40, 50%. Meetings and convention profile. Again, one of the things that we're trying to solve for is your plate. How do we automate some of these workflows? If you're a destination and you have a convention and meetings uh, team, they're set in a certain way. You're trying to get meeting planners to meet with them but there's a whole lead qualification. This will actually help qualify that lead. If I'm a business that's, let's say, located in Tampa, Florida, I wanna do a meeting of a thousand people. When I submit that lead, it actually knows who on the sales team handles the Southeast, handles groups of over 500 people, and will route that to salesperson A or B, along with the entire AI conversation that went with it, qualifies it, send it to the right person. It does the exact same thing with RFP submissions, as well as just answering a lot of information about conventions and meetings in any destination. 
you're getting into the food and beverage side, again, this can be used in a venue, any type of theme park that has lots of food and beverage. It's the same type of thing. It sets a workflow. It can actually purchase things within uh, the chat itself. It knows this one's a sports example because I had to throw some love to what the company was built on of where can I get the closest IPA? Hey, what section are you in? Or you can tell it what section that you're in and it'll tell you exactly where to go to get that food item. Now think about like I have a three-year-old walking around a theme park. Uh, she only eats chicken fingers some days. So where can I get that that's the closest because we're running up on time. It makes it very easy and frictionless to get exactly what I want. If you have the ability to do in-app in ordering, essentially I could do it through the agent. By the time we got to the, the, the food station, my order would be ready. That's cutting the friction out of the, the equation and increasing the amount of ancillary sales. Now, this is probably my favorite part. Everything that we do, every one of these agents captures data. Now, zero party data is something I talk about a lot because it is the most reliable data. It is your customer, your clients and visitors willingly telling you what they want, what they need, what they're looking for, all categorized into different types of intents. You can go down to the raw text. You can also see if you're, let's just look at from like a ticketing standpoint, we can look at what the intents were before we sold them a ticket. So you know what that order is. You can actually make business decisions based on that. Everything is categorized by topic, by intent, so that you as the client can actually have at the access of your fingertips. Now we also have an open API. So if you're working with like a data warehouse, all of this can go there. And last, but I have to mention them because I think the one difference, uh, you know, one of the things that we do have is our entire, entire company came from the experiences industry. We're at 73 employees now and with backgrounds from the Hamilton show on Broadway, Walt Disney company, ticketing companies, theme parks, professional sports teams, hotels, all of the product enhancements that we make is we make them because a lot of us have sat in those chairs on the other side. We've hired those people that we're trying to automate workflows for. And I think that's really important uh, just to bring up because we know what would be important. We also have a conversational agency that can do any type of uh, customized work. Now I'm going to stop sharing my screen, but not before there's a QR code here for if you want a personalized demo. Um, if you have questions for me specifically, my QR code for LinkedIn is here. I, I honestly, I answer uh, probably 95% of the ones that come in. Um, so please reach out. I'm really excited to share this with you guys. And I really appreciate travel trends. I'm going to stop sharing and jump back in so I can see the Questions, if we have any, I think I am right at time almost. Let's see. Trying to look for some of the Q&A. Well, I don't see anything here. So what I'm going to do is, if you want a personalized demo, visit our website. Uh, mention Travel Trends. Um, and the AI Summit, and we have a specific free trial offer for anyone that's out here. Thank you so much, and I think I'm at time.